Today, I'm going to tell you five things that you need to know if you want to become a realtor. Hey, everybody, Tim Weigel here with Watson Realty, and today starts my new series of Life as a Realtor, and I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction of what it takes to be a realtor, and these aren't the things you're going to find in textbooks. These are the things that I've experienced from being in the business for the last almost 10 years. So first thing that you need to know is real estate can be very emotional. So check yours at the door. Now I know many of you think, well, it's not my transaction. Well, guess what? When you're working for buyers or sellers or investors, whatever their emotions are, it's gonna flow through you and you're gonna absorb them. So you need to find a way to let it not give, make you make the wrong decision because of the emotions of the transaction and make the right decision for the transaction. So help the buyers and sellers get across that finish line. Uh, you're gonna have some where it's very heated and you have to be the adult in the room. You have to be the one that handles those challenges. Uh, you're gonna have customers also from the heated emotions. You're going to be the one that gets the blame for anything that goes right or wrong, whether it's your fault or not. And at the end of the day, you still need to do what's right for that transaction. You know, I'm sure you've heard the saying, customer's always right. This is where it comes in. You're not gonna pass blame onto the customer. You're gonna do what's right for the customer so that their ultimate goals can be achieved. Now, part two, or step two, whatever, um, two of the five things, make sure that if you're gonna be a realtor, you run, yourself as a business okay you you know you go and you work for a company you have employees working at the goals that the company sets for themselves well you are the employee you're an employee of one so you need to work on those goals but at the same time don't lose sight on you're running a business so you're going to work in the business as well as on the business so set your goals, set your strategic initiatives, figure out what you need to do to get from point A to point B to point C and keep moving that needle forward, okay? It is a business and you're gonna be successful in real estate the more that you run it like a business. Now, three, don't be a yes person. There's a lot of people that when they come into the industry, they wanna be that yes person. Someone tells them something and they're gonna go ahead and tell them, yes, we can do this every single time. One, if you're always saying yes, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. A lot of the customers out there don't know what can and can't be done, what's legal, what's illegal. So you need to be careful of that. What's ethical, what's not ethical. So don't be that yes person. And some people they are gonna tell you things that you know is not correct. And if you say yes, you're going to get yourself in trouble and cause a lot of stress for your career. For example, you're going to have a customer that'll say, my house is worth $600,000. And someone will say, yes, I could definitely sell it for $600,000. It is definitely worth that. Well, when it's all said and done, it might not be. Look at the comps in the area. Um, now, there's no guarantee it's not black and white, so everyone's going to have an opinion. But if the highest comp in the neighborhood was $400,000, and they're saying their house is worth $600,000. There's some evidence there that shows that it might not be worth $600,000. So now four, plan for the peaks and valleys. Real estate can be very consistent, but at times you're gonna have real, real highs and real, real lows. So when you're doing really good, plan for when you're gonna take that dip so that you can absorb the issues and you don't put yourself out of business. Okay, you know, the success in real estate comes from planning. And if you plan accordingly, you're going to do good. Um, a good thing to do is set up a business plan one year, five year, 10 year, and then update it as you go on, because the business plan should be a living organism within your business. Okay, and it should adjust and adapt to what your goals are. And the last thing, which many, many realtors don't do this part, but take care of yourself. Real estate can be a very stressful job. It is definitely not a nine to five job. So you might be doing business with someone at midnight. You might be doing it business with them at 7 a.m. Could be noon. You don't know, but take care of yourself. 
um, because this could stress you out, cause a lot of health issues. And when it comes down to it, you need to figure out how to de-stress and how to take time off. You know, when you're doing your business plan, plan for what your vacations are. Take that time off so you can unwind and focus and get re-energized. Because if you don't, you're going to burn out in the business. And then, you know, what, what hobbies or what things can you do to de-stress? You know, it might be being involved with your kid's school. Um, it could be going to Disney. Um, and my wife might not like this. It could be collecting basketball cards. But, you know, figure out what's right for you and do it. I hope this helps. If you're looking to get to the real estate, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and I'm anyone that's thinking about getting into real estate, I have no problem talking to you and letting you know lessons I've learned over the last 10 years. Thank you. Have a good day.